Good morning, everybody. It is 9.20 a.m. on January 30th. It's almost the last day of January. What the heck? Um, today I'm recording a day in the life video. Um, I know it's been like two months since I uploaded to YouTube, but sometimes it's hard to just balance everything. Um, I do work full time and I have a lot of other stuff going on. So yeah, but today I'm going to take you through a full day in my life um going to chill for a little bit i just got up like an hour ago um i'm doing some laundry i'm gonna make some coffee right now and i'll show you that and drink water um that's usually the first thing i do in the morning and usually when i get up during the work week i wake up at about 7 30 and i take an hour without any electronics so i get up i come open all my windows and just chill drink water maybe sit outside and read my books usually right now i'm reading two books and listening to an audiobook at the same time so i really enjoy reading actually i will just show you the two books i'm reading and please ignore all this acne i'm having a lot of hormonal acne from birth control so Oh great, and I've had toothpaste on my mouth this entire time. <laughs> well, I'm reading Party of Two, which is a cute fiction book, as well as Anxious People, which is something, the book, which is the book that we're reading at my online book club that I started. Online book club has been really fun. It's like 10 of my friends, um, and we just do it on Zoom. So yeah, that's usually how I start my morning during the week. But on the weekends, I go a lot slower. I try to like relax, chill. All right, I got myself a little bit more put together. This top is Balance Athletica. And these shorts, they're actually shorts, are Lululemon. Um, they're like black camo. And I just brushed my hair and put on this unseen sunscreen. Sunscreen's super important to wear every day, so I put this on. It's really nice. It has the consistency of like a primer, so I put that on. I brush my teeth, and now let's go get some water and some coffee. I just filled up my water bottle. It just has ice, um, it has ice, filtered water, and lemon juice, and I love drinking it. I know there's people who dispute like the benefits of drinking lemon water, um, and I don't really care if it has scientific benefits. I just like the taste. <laughs> um, if it has scientific benefits, like good for your metabolism or kidneys or whatever things that I've heard, then all the better. But I do like drinking it. I think it has a really nice flavor, and I love lemon-flavored anything. So there's that, and then I'm just filling up my Brita some more. I do drink water out of the Brita. Um, fun fact, bottled water gives me a headache every single time. I don't know why. I take a few sips of it, headache. Um, so who knows? So I can't drink bottled water, but now I'm about to make my coffee. So there you have it. I make an iced vanilla latte that has a little bit of salted caramel creamer in it. Um, and I have the Nespresso coffee maker. Let's see. I think it only makes espresso actually. It was like $150 on Amazon. Um, another quarantine purchase. But it's this one. It's, let's just pull it out. It's this one. It's Nespresso. It's Nespresso. Um, not sure i really really like it though and you just lift this up to put the pot in and yeah it's small it's convenient it gets the job done and then i just put my little starbucks um cups in there if anybody has recommendations for k-cup brands that they like that would fit in this uh little version of the nespresso i would love to hear it i typically only ever drink iced coffee so that's why the nespresso is good um i've recently dabbled in cappuccinos so i really like those but i don't think i would buy like a hot coffee maker yet just for that because it's so rare that i want 
or end up drinking hot coffee. So I do just love this one. It's ice blonde Starbucks Nespresso pod. Um, like almost a full squirt of the Tarani vanilla syrup. And I don't use the sugar free because I would just rather use real sugar. I don't want those chemicals. <laughs> um, and then a, maybe like a tablespoon of salted caramel creamer from HEB and probably like a full cup of oat milk um, from Planet Oat. And I used to get the Oat Barista brand. I'll put it here. Um, and I really liked it, but it was like $4 for the little carton. And this oat milk is a lot more for a lot less. <laughs> I think it's only like a, a dollar or two and it still tastes just as good. It's it's like the extra creamy brand, so it's really good. And yeah, so I'm gonna drink my coffee, have my water and just chill on my computer for a little bit before I go to the gym. Okay, I got my chew drinks. I'm going to get started on them and I just have my computer and my phone so I'm just gonna be here for a little bit I'll see you in a while okay wow it is like 11 o'clock right now I'm finally going to the gym I'm gonna do back and biceps and I'm gonna record on my phone because it's a little easier to do that in the gym and one last thing, here is my final gym outfit of the day. I have a Lululemon jacket with a Lululemon tank top underneath and then that uh, Balance Athletica sports bra that y'all saw earlier today. It's only 70 degrees in Texas today, so that's a little chilly for us. Um, so I do have my jacket on and I work out in a warehouse gym. Same Lululemon shorts and then these Nike training shoes. Got them in New York City in 2017, so I do not know like the brand or anything but they are great and yeah so here's the outfit let's go to the gym what's up everybody so i started my workout off with 10 minutes on the stairmaster that's usually how i start my workout so here's a clip of that i did back and biceps today so i started on the lat pull down machine with this um extension piece i can't think of the right word um but so i'm just doing lat pull downs it's a little bit of a closer grip make sure you focus on pulling your elbows in towards your ribs and focus on pulling your elbows down on this you're working your lats the major muscle in your back so yeah i think that this workout is a few different back exercises and then a couple bicep exercises so we'll see that at the end here recording these clips were so hard so please bear with me on that but yeah so i think i did three sets or four sets for 10 to 12 reps and then the next exercise was another variation of a lat pull down but it's a straight arm pull down on the cable machine and i think i did about 50 or 60 pounds um 10 to 12 reps for four sets usually i do three to four sets of exercises for 10 to 12 reps depending on the weight i usually don't do super heavy weight so i end up doing a lot more reps so I'm just doing the straight arm pull down and keep your elbows nice and straight and focus on the squeeze in between your shoulder blades on this. Okay, so the next exercise I did is a standing row. So I grabbed the easy bar and I just started pulling. I think this was a 40 pound, but I did it with 50 pounds. It's just that the 40 wasn't available. Um, the 50 wasn't available when I first started. So yep, just squeezing back in between your shoulder blades to really activate those back muscles. Okay, so the next exercise I did here is a seated row. So my arms are close together, my legs are against a platform, and you're just pulling back, squeezing with your lat muscles again. This is more your center back muscles like rhomboids and things like that. So I'm just keeping my elbows pinned in towards my um, rib cage as I'm pulling back and again I think I did this one for four sets 10 to 12 reps about 50 or 60 pounds but obviously start where is comfortable for you okay so the next exercise I'm doing here is a bicep curl so it's just a variation where I'm switching my arm position and I don't know if there's anything special about this but it's just something different than bicep curls <laughs> so I'm just working my biceps here I probably did four sets of this for 10 to 12 reps and it gets very very difficult at the end so you see me kind of using my legs to help me bring the weight up which isn't the best but it's definitely a way to kind of do it 
And then here I'm doing the close grip, um, hands facing each other, bicep curls. And by this point I was very, very tired and fatigued. So you can kind of see that in my position, but I am rocking a little bit. It is probably better to stand completely still, but again, I was very, very tired by the end of this. So I hope you enjoyed the workout and I will see you in the next part of the video. All right, I am finally back from the gym, got ready. Um, I'm going to a outdoor brewery. They're doing an artisan market and my boyfriend's food business is gonna be vending there. Um, he cooks Mexican food, authentic. So I'm going to that. And after I got back from the gym, I made a little snack. I made a peanut butter rice cake with strawberries, which has been my go-to snack lately. It's been really good. You could also put blueberries on it. Um, and then I've also done the same kind of idea on avocado toast with strawberries or blueberries and that's really good as well um, but so I recorded my workout you probably already saw that and I'm sure I did a voiceover for that so hopefully that was helpful please let me know and yeah now I'm going to go get us both some coffee and then go to the market to eat and also see what type of stuff they have at the different vendors I love supporting local businesses here's the outfit it's this little shirt from I'm not sure, maybe Topshop, and this is from Pretty Little Thing, and these bike shorts are from Amazon, and then my shoes. I don't know what they're called. I was just looking for dad shoes when that trend came about, and I really like these ones. So yeah, let's get going to the market, but first, more coffee. <laughs> Plans, I decided that that outfit looked pretty weird, so I put on this blue Uniqlo jacket. Um, It's like, a light blue like sky blue color like baby blue and then a lululemon v-neck underneath same shorts same shoes but i have this little purse from pretty little thing and i think that it just looks a little bit better all together especially if i take off the jacket so now i really gotta go so i will see you there finally back home it is 9 25 p.m um so the last time i talked to y'all i left to go to the artisan market at like one something i think it was so it's definitely been several hours i took some footage of the market but not a lot because a lot of my friends came i was talking to them um i was just trying to be in the moment so it was a lot of fun there were a lot of vendors i got to see a lot of different types of people like they were selling soap handmade um handmade jams jellies um jewelry clothing etc and so it was really really cool and then i just hung out with my boyfriend his family our friends for a while and then i got some pizza and now i'm finally back home um i'm just chugging water because i didn't drink a lot of water there picked up a pizza and i got some youtube queued up got my water and let's open this called the odessa pizza oh i'm so excited i think it's mozzarella goat cheese and prosciutto which is like one of my favorite pizzas i'm so hyped to eat this hopefully this day was interesting my weekends are definitely more interesting than my weekdays so yeah i had a lot of fun um but i am excited to chill and take a shower and just slow down um tomorrow i'm gonna go work out and see another one of my friends and then just get groceries watch church online i usually get groceries and do my laundry on the weekends just to stay organized and i plan out all my meals for the week before i get groceries so that helps me a lot so that i know what i'm gonna eat for dinner and for snacks breakfast etc not like to a tea but i do know to an extent what i'm gonna be eating each day so i can plan what i buy 
and yeah so i'm sure i will close this video out later or tomorrow um but until then i will see you then hey y'all i'm just sitting here editing this video <laughs> so this is future sydney but i know i posted on my instagram that this video would include a q a but i felt like the video was a little bit long already so i'm gonna include those answers in the next video so i appreciate your patience on that and of course i didn't close out this video either so just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate your support if you liked this video please give it a like um, and a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content uh, leave a comment below to any of the number of questions I asked during this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!